you know, somewhere right now in his room, at his house. Maybe he's at a restaurant right now. I don't know where Jordan Love is, but you know, wherever he is right now, he is somewhere celebrating. Like, yes, finally, it's over. And I know that's what a lot of Jets fans are doing and some Packers fans, too. Because this, the whole talk of Aaron Rodgers being traded to the Jets has been going on for a, a very, very long time. And we all have been just waiting and wondering when, not if it was going to become official, but now it's finally here. So the Aaron Rodgers and however many seasons he's going to play remaining in his career, they start with the Jets officially today. And Jordan Love, he gets to finally take over, take the reins over in Green Bay and begin his career. So I'm happy that both sides get to amicably move on and move forward. And let's talk about the compensation. So per sources, this is from Adam Sheft. He said the Jets, this is what they receive. Obviously Aaron Rodgers, the Jets get their new quarterback. Um, they get pick number 15. So they get a first round pick this year and a fifth round pick. All right. So initially when I saw that, I was like, how are the Packers giving them a first round pick and Aaron Rodgers? I was like, I was really scratching my head over that one. But then I had to read the follow up details to what the Packers received. So the Packers, they get pick number 13. So the Jets and the Packers, they just swap first round picks. So the Packers get pick number 13. They get a second round pick this year, pick number 42 overall, uh, a six round pick this year. Uh, number 207 overall, and a conditional, now this, I've never seen a conditional pick like this before. They get a conditional 2024, so next season, they get a conditional 2024 second round pick that becomes a first if Aaron Rodgers plays 65% of the snaps of the plays. So I, I, I've always seen like with conditional picks, the ones that I'm more familiar with that I'm used to seeing is like, a fifth round that could turn into a fourth or a seventh that could turn into a sixth or a sixth that could turn into a fifth. Something like that. I, I've never seen one like this. A second rounder that can turn into a first. Like, so Jets, Jets they paid some significant capital uh, to get Aaron Rodgers. More so the pick next year. Um, but you're getting, obviously, a great quarterback. You're getting a Hall of Fame quarterback. But you're getting somebody who can still play right now. Who can still make stuff happen Till this day. It's funny because um, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and I know they were a little older in their careers when it happened, but those guys really showed me like, hey, it, never say never. Because I never, mostly for Tom Brady, more, more than any of them. With Peyton Manning, I was like, oh, okay. But Aaron Rodgers, like, oh, okay. But with Tom Brady, I, I never would have thought he would play anywhere else than the Patriots. Ever. Never. But he did. He did. Uh, and it just goes to show that, hey, if the team ready to move on, they can move on. No matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what you've accomplished. And that's, that's life in the NFL. Uh, but anyway, now the Jets, they finally, finally, <laughs> finally get that guy. While we talked about earlier, hey, we know Jordan Love was somewhere celebrating. Zach Wilson, you, you know, he ain't been celebrating since this whole rumor first started. Um, but... The Jets get their quarterback, and this really puts them in the thick of things in the AFC. Like, last year, they were a team that was quarterback away, a couple plays away from just even being in the playoffs, but really making some serious noise um, because their defense was amazing. Their defense was amazing. But now you you get Aaron Rodgers. Like, you don't just – you ain't just draft the quarterbacks. Oh, we got a rookie, so we don't know how he's going to be. You ain't just signing on no random veteran. No, it's, oh, we don't know how he's going to be. He may be all right. No, no. You got Aaron Rodgers. And again, he'd been in the league since, what, 2005? First round pick out of Cal. And now you got Aaron Rodgers. He's nice. This boosts the Jets up so much. Because Aaron Rodgers, he plays, he's going to be playing with Brees, Brees Hall. He's going to be playing with Garrett Wilson. Going to be playing with uh, his boy Alan Lazard. You know Alan Lazard is super happy right now. He's like, yes, Finally. Even though we all knew it was coming, it, when it's official, it's, it hits a little different. McCole Hardman, too. Corey Davis is still there for now, but, yeah, you don't know how that's probably going to go. Uh, and Elijah Moore, you know, he got traded a couple weeks ago to Cleveland. But anyway, um, he got some nice receivers there, man. Some nice receivers. And um, this should be nice. Now, 
they're going to have some tough competition in that um, the AFC East because you got the Bills. Bills been running the show there for the past couple of years. But you got the Dolphins. If Tua can stay healthy, them Dolphins, they're they going to be something for real, man, because they got the offense. Tua stay healthy, they'll be straight. But then the defense, what they've been doing on defense this year, you, Jalen Ramsey, that's, oh, yeah, <laughs> it should be fun, man. Uh, so And now the Jets are right there, too. Now the Patriots, it's to be determined. We'll see. Because Patriots, like right now, Mac Jones is their guy. It, it has been said that the Patriots have been listening to, to, to calls about Mac Jones or taking calls on Mac Jones, if anybody interested. And, you know, hey, once the team starts taking calls on you, it's the beginning of the end. So we'll see what happens with Mac Jones um, in the near future. But this, right now, in my opinion, it's a, it's a three-team race for the AFC East. So th this this should be really, really fun. I Like, I, I can't wait to see these matches. Like, Aaron Rodgers versus Josh Allen t at least two times a year. Tua versus Aaron Rodgers. I know saying that out loud, some people are like, Tua versus Aaron Rodgers, please. But last year they had a nice little battle in Miami when them Packers came to Miami. But um, no, man, it's, 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 it's going to be good times, man, in the AFC East. But I know Jets fans got to be enthusiastic like crazy. And now as far as Packers fans, Packers fans be like, all right, well, let, let's see how things go. Let's see how things progress. I know what, there's a lot of Packers fans that were just ready, ready for this whole thing to be over. Because when you constantly hear about, oh, is he going to stay? Is he going to play? Is he going to get traded? What's going to happen? A lot of fans just end up being just ready to move on. Being, whether they like the trade or not, whether they like that he's still a Packer or not, whatever was going to happen, they're just ready for whatever was going to happen for it to happen so they can move forward. The whole team can move forward. But now they will be moving forward. So Jordan Love, what you going to do? What's it going to be? How is this team going to uh, really prepare for you or prepare you? Excuse me. How are they going to build around you? What's going to happen now? It's going to be the Jordan Love and, and Christian Watson show? Hey, we, we're going to see. We're going to see. But we'll, we'll all definitely be tuned in. But I'm glad that this is over. Um is so everybody can. I, I thought this was going to be something because we had heard the rumors. Oh, this is going to be a trade that happens on draft night. This is going to be a, a trade that happens on Thursday night. Uh, that that's when it's going to heat up. Oh, well, that's when it's going to happen. I mean, excuse me, but no, it was said. I think yesterday, either yesterday or way earlier today, that talks had they they just started talking back again. The Jets and the Packers just started talking again. They just started having the trade talks again. They resumed them because they said that they had taken a little break. But them deadlines, deadlines spark action. The draft was coming up. Hey, you want to do something with a first round pick? All right. Hey, let us know. But times are ticking. Time's ticking. So I don't know who called who. I don't know. First, I don't know who broke it off with who. But then one of the teams, on the, the Jets called the Packers or the Packers called the Jets. But one of them hit them with that. Hey, big head. What's up? What's up, baby? I ain't heard from you in a long time. And, hey, it sparked that action. So it's official. So congrats to Jets fans. Congrats to Packers fans. And anybody that doesn't like it, I'm, I'm sorry. But just like Aaron Rodgers is officially now, when it comes to being a Green Bay Packer, I'm out. Make sure you all subscribe to the channel.